commercial space flight received a boost in 2013 when NASA declared the success of its Commercial Orbital Transportation Services Program to resupply the International Space Station. The move from public-private development to routine operation of two commercial resupply systems came after Orbital Sciences successfully docked its Cygnus cargo capsule with the ISS in October. SpaceX completed its demonstration mission in 2012 and has begun contracted flights of its Dragon capsule. The next step is commercial crew transportation. Boeing, Sierra Nevada, and SpaceX are developing competing systems with funding support from NASA, and the Space Agency plans crewed demonstration missions to the space station before 2017. Boeing's CST-100 capsule passed airbag and water landing tests in 2013, while Sierra Nevada conducted the milestone first drop test of its Dream Chaser reusable space plane to demonstrate its autonomous, unpowered descent and landing. SpaceX is developing a manned version of the Dragon capsule and also working to make its Falcon 9 launch vehicle reusable. The first attempt to recover the first stage in October was not a complete success, but SpaceX will try again in 2014. Several dramatic flights of the Grasshopper vertical takeoff vertical landing vehicle in 2013 showed how SpaceX eventually hopes to fly the Falcon 9 first stage back to the launch site. SpaceX launched into the commercial market in December when its Falcon 9 version 1.1 placed a communications satellite into geosynchronous transfer orbit. This keeps the company on track to compete with United Launch Alliance to launch NASA, U.S. Air Force, and intelligence community satellites. Commercial suborbital flight also moved closer, with scaled composites and Virgin Galactic conducting their first supersonic flights, including deployment of the feathering reentry mechanism. Commercial space tourism flights are planned to begin in 2014.